Well, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Otherwise known as Mystic Quest Legend. Yeah, well, we just cleared... The Lava Dome. Everything is safe now. And since everything is safe, we must go to our next area. So where are we going to go to? Well, first off, we're going to the... Well, we're not going to mine. That's for damn certain. No, we are going back to the Focus Tower. Because we were already told to go back to the Focus Tower. So in this place we have Cure Potions. Because always remember, cure potions are your friends. So since we have the sun coin, we are going to access set area. Like so. And it opened. Hurry to Windia. But be on the lookout for Captain Mac's ship. Uh, yeah. Alright, fine. So, we have no choice but to go out here. <clears throat> and going south will take us to the area known as Doom Castle. Doom Castle? How the... F well, you know what? I'll make this quick. Bye bye. I thought I made this quick. Blow dark. Seriously. And in here we have Edel. Oh, I like that Edel. Yes, Edel works for me. Especially with those windbound enemies, not and all. So I think we're gonna go down here. The side of me yawning. Yes, this episode is not gonna be long at all. So we're going to be here at the rope bridge. Hmm? Gotcha! Step back, Izzy, and leave this mo filthy monster to me. Look to Ruben! You bastard! Ruben! I'm alright. Keep going and I'll catch up. Alright. Hello. Your buddy fell kid? Yeah, but he's okay. Alright, then I'll take along with you for a bit. So Tristan rejoins us. I so enjoy his theme song. Dance party! Dance party! Dance revolution! 
It's Fonty! Dance Dance Revolution! It does sound like a piece from Dance Dance Revolution. I like to wake up to to this kind of music every morning. I might just burn a disc of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest anyway. Got some C's. Yes, I actually have the music to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. So I might do this right after I'm done with these episodes. So we're going to the Alive Forest. Compared to the Dead Forest. And the question I'm just going to ask is this. Is it alive or is it just dead? Well, this is going to be an interesting episode. I kind of like how Tristan says, you know what, okay, I'll join you. Can I attack you now? Thank you. Oh, that's right. Cure potions. Jeez, you're making it hard for somebody to actually get through this place. The forest is alive with the sound of, oh my god. going good for us. It's like all of a sudden they just, they're out for my blood. Seriously. No, because that was right there bullshit. I see how it is going to be now. You know what I say? 
Bye-bye. Shit, that's what I call it. So, aside from playing this game in which I've been away from it for so long, that's the thing with me about certain games. Like, take for instance Pokemon. I can get away from the game for about maybe two months right after I play on and on, off and on, off and on with the game. I seem to become much better because I just, you know, I'm focusing on another game or possibly something else, you know. I mean, that's how I am with, with games sometimes. Sounds and heal potions. But yeah, that's what I, that's how I am though. With certain games, I'm just you know, I go off and on on certain games. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's like, for instance, currently on Pokemon Black, I'm up to my sixth to seventh badge, I think. Something close to it, I think. Maybe... I'm, I may be wrong, but I have about six to eight badges. Six out of eight badges already. No, actually, I'm right. I am within six to eight. I have six to eight badges right now. Of course, the thing with me is, you know, I like Pokemon, but I'm not an avid fan of Pokemon, you know. And, you know, some people eat, sleep, and shit Pokemon, but I don't. I just, you know. I play it on and off because I'm a casual gamer. I'm not hardcore. Trust me, if I was hardcore, do you think I'd be doing this? Think about it. Would I be doing something like this if I was just playing hardcore Pokemon? But then again, you know, I enjoy playing. I enjoy playing Pokemon sometimes. And yeah, believe it or not, I still I still use my Pucka Walker. Don't think about it. It does make sense. I I because I walk sometimes. There are really 
really starting to really piss me off now. I see Twitter chess. I want treasure chest. Yeah, I want treasure chest. That treasure chest look good. If that would actually hurt, but it doesn't. That must mean something good. Really, you guys are starting to piss me off. You, you don't realize, but you guys are really starting to piss me off. And in here we have a Giant's Axe! Oh yeah, now it's a home, bitches. About damn time. I was getting kind of concerned the fact that I'm not getting any stronger. I mean, it really does become a concern if that happens. Well, I had to do this. Cause it's a lot of less, you know. But you know what? I'm certainly not. I'm certainly not sad that it is the law of less. So if it's called a live force, um. Supposed to be called a live forest. How come the undead live here? The hills are alive with the sound of the undead. Amazingly, there's so many of these around here.
Ouch. Thank you. Kind of makes you think, okay, what is really going on in this forest, you know? Guess we'll get our answer. Hello. So you're the king of this forest, huh? Let us through. I don't think it likes you. How about Kaylee? Can't she talk to trees? <gasps> yeah, she must be an aquarium by now. So, after we've taken care of the undead and the alive force, we're going to take a detour trip back to... Aquaria. That's right, we're going back to Aquaria. So we're going all the way back to this place. Yeah, if you say um less through, um yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna like you, sir. So we have to go all the way back from here. Go this way again. Get some explosives, go up here. Take a jump, go up here, and around and up. Get some cure potions, because why not? Huh? Okay. So since we are here, around the area of Fireburg, we are going to take the long way around to Aquaria. See, it feels pretty good clearing out of every goddamn battlefield you can see. You can see, because now you're untouchable. Yeah, but aren't we all weird? We must embrace the weirdness. That's what's wrong with this world. We must embrace the weirdness. Stop all the hate, you know? When I say this, long live the weirdos. Long live weirdos like us. The geeks, the nerds, yeah. You name it. I've said it. Long live us, uh, long live us, El peers who actually do this, who do the games that we do, suffer for your amusement, and probably then some. Hi there. Kaylee's sleeping. Why don't you talk to Grandpa until she wakes up? I guess I will. I forgot where your grandpa is. Please don't tell me to get up and move and close the door and everything. Y'all got keys. Actually, one moment. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get my folks out of here because 
they had something important to do. They were telling me, oh, we're going to get really even. Uh, You know, I understand, but you know, we gotta go, go already, please. Anyway, back to the LP. We are currently here in the ne this negative woods. Got some refreshers. We passed the life force. We found out we gotta go back to this place. Oh yeah, I gotta trade in. And I somehow warped to Firebird. Whoa! I could have been at Firebird just by... Oh, never mind. Excuse me. My current head thoughts I had about was um Spencer's place. One of my many current head thoughts I had was about realism in video games. And what I mean by that is, you know, like there are certain games that are just too real, and somehow, you know, for me, you know, as long as it's a video game, it's fine, but, you know, when the graphics look too real, you know, they kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a buzzkill, and you put something else into it. It's like, well, we're trying to make it more of this and that. Oh, I understand, but... Really, was it that? Really, was it really worth all that? Anyway, moving on to story. We gotta talk with Grandpa. How's the tunnel going? Can you save Captain Mac in the ship? I can't dig a tunnel that far. We need Otto's help. He's in Windia. Oh, by, by the way, who's that with you? Trust him, Matt. You serve us. I'm a treasure hunter. You don't say. Listen, I recently heard a rumor about some amazing armor. Let's go. Sorry, Izzy. I'm going. I'm going treasure hunting with him later. Uh, yeah. See you later. Uh, Tristan Spencer. I almost forgot. I give you this dragon claw. Don't worry, it's on me. Bye. Well, now we actually get another upgrade at the cost of what the fuck. Grandpa just won't slow down. Maybe, well, maybe I'll use a bomb to move this dirt. Maybe you should. You shouldn't feel that. Oh shit. Um, Phoebe, uh, what the hell? Um, the tunnel collapsed. I have to tell Grandpa, take care of Kaylee for me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this episode just picked up. Clearly, it's. Clear has been, we went through a zombified forest, nearly got our asses handed to us, 
I got a sweet dragon claw out of it, but still. At the cost of sheer asinine dumb defiantness. So, what we had to do now is we had to go. Not there. Where we had to go to now is we had to go back to Phoebe's house. Because we need Kaylee's help. And I think that's where I'm going to stop. Kaylee, you will! Yes, but did you hear about my dad? Yes, yeah, Spencer told me. He said I should see Otto and Wendy. And I was hoping you'd come too. So yeah, we have Kaylee back. And she's six levels stronger than we. But you know what? That's all good. So, I'm going to I'm going to end the episode by actually going back to a life force. Cuz that is where we're going to be picking up in the next episode sometime tonight or this morning or, or rather most likely tonight. Yes, I'm taking a short break from Lunar because I did quite a bit. So I need to catch up with Mr. Quest and pretty much, yeah. So yeah, I have returned back to the Mystic Quest. And I certainly hope you will join me. No, I already went there. I got the arrow spell. I don't need to go back there again. But yes, I hope you still enjoy the LPs of both Lunar and... And Double FMQ. As much as I have been playing these games. So with that, I'm going to save here. And, yeah, I'm going to call it a part. And stay tuned for more Final Fantasy goodness. Shining Force, yes, I will be finishing. I will, f I will, I will definitely be finishing the Shiny Force series. Well, actually, Shiny Force 1. As requested by Reign of Hearts, I will m more than likely finish it tonight, or quite possibly this week. So, until the next time, this has been the Tenkaichi of RPGs, Pookie Izzy 7. And this has been Final Fantasy Mr. Quest brought to us by Square Soft before they were called Square Enix. So until next time I wish you all a good day, a good night, and I'll see you guys around. So Sayonara and take care. <laughs>